Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cheyenne and if you guys like makeup tutorials and reviews, definitely hit the subscribe button down below because I'm here for you every Wednesday. I have been a freelance makeup artist for the past six years and in today's video I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks on how to highlight and contour like a professional makeup artist. So one of the most important things for highlighting and contouring to know is that you are not going to highlight and contour the same way everybody else does on the internet. You are going to highlight and contour to the shape of your face and for that you need to actually figure out what your face shape is. So I'm going to post a chart right here. Take a look at it, hit the pause button if you have to, and just kind of decide what kind of face shape that you have. Another important question when contouring and highlighting your face is you want to figure out what features you want to bring out and what features that you want to hide. For me, I like to bring out my cheekbones, but I really like to contour right here and get more of that angular face shape. I also like to contour the tip of my nose because I just, I feel like the tip of my nose is a little bit wide. This I leave alone. A lot of people kind of contour this. So if you have a very wide bridge of your nose, you can contour right there and make it seem smaller. I'm not going to be doing that today. I'm going to be highlighting contour to my face shape. Feel free to try what I am doing. It may not work for you just because we don't have the same shape of face. So the first product that I'm actually going to be using is the NYX Color Correcting Concealer. I know we're using Color Corrector, but there is a nice darker brown shade in there that I can use that will work with my skin tone. And I'm going to apply that where I would like to have recede. A lot of people think that you apply it inside your cheekbones. You're going to actually be applying it just a little bit higher. I'm basically creating a guide for my powder contour. I don't really like to work with cream contours too much just because it is more of a really like night on the town, like the glam intense highlighting contour. I like more of a natural highlighting contour. So for your cheek contour, a lot of people think that you blend it down, but you actually blend it up. You want to create something that looks more of like a cylinder. So when you look at a cylinder, you are going to see the shadows at the bottom of the cylinder and the highlight is at the top, which is going to create that very like a rounded looking effect, just which is what we want in our cheekbones. If you notice, I'm just using my sponge to kind of dab in small motions. I'm not sweeping across the face or anything like that because I don't want to smear it. I just want to dab it and kind of diffuse how it looks. It, as you can see, it creates that very nice chiseled cheekbone. And if you're looking to define your eyes more without wearing any eyeshadow, you can actually highlight and contour your eyes as well. And we're just going to be doing that for the sake of doing it in this video. So the trick to contour placement for your eyeshadow is if you have a very hooded eye or semi hooded eye like I do is you want to take the mirror and you want to place it right directly in front of your face and look directly into the mirror. When you're looking directly into the mirror, you're going to see this fatty part that lays on top of the lid. This is where your contour is going to live. This is where you put your crease when you're doing eyeshadow. When doing eyeshadow, the crease doesn't actually go into the crease. It goes directly above. You can also add a little bit to the lower lash line. You can see that just kind of lifts the eye and just defines it. And now we are going to actually work with a powder highlight and contour. We're going to be using the Tarte Tartiest Pro Glow to go contour kit. This kit actually comes with one contour, two highlights, so if you like more of the champagne shade of highlight, it has that on top, and that has more of a golden shade in the middle. And I just dip that in, tap off any excess, and going at not a straight angle, but turning the brush a little bit and sweeping it down across the face. So you can really see that really enhanced the contour that we had already set onto the face. And the reason I'm doing it right below the bottom of the center of my bottom lip is because that's going to give more of a pouty bottom lip. 
So to contour my eye, I'm going to be using the same product. I'm going to be using a nice fluffy shadow brush and just doing the same thing, looking straight into a mirror and applying it to the fatty portion. And it's important to note that when you're looking in your mirror, you actually want to tilt your head down just a little bit so that fat really sits on the top of your lid. You can see that my foundation kind of creased and that's okay. You can just tap it out with your finger and then set some more setting powder on it and that will help with it. And then we're also gonna go underneath the lower lash line. And that's just gonna give the appearance of a fuller looking lash line. Next, we're gonna be moving on to our highlight and I, honestly, you guys, I always use the Gleam, which is the champagne -y shade. I'm actually gonna use the gold just to kind of change it up. And we're just going to press that in right where we applied that concealer. I honestly feel like I added a little too much to the tip of my nose, but it's okay. So for the eyes, you are actually going to highlight the eyes as well, and you're gonna clean off that blending brush that you used earlier, and you are going to pick up the same highlight. I'm just gonna be pressing it into the top right above my brow and bringing it down into that contour. And then also bringing it in right underneath my brow. And I haven't done my brows yet, so I'm missing half my brows, you guys. But it's gonna be a nice base for when my brows do get put in. And then I'm also going to apply it right on the inner corner of my eyes. And then bringing it down the side of my nose just a little bit. If you want, you can also pop a little bit onto the top of your lid. And all right, you guys, that is how to highlight and contour. I hope you guys found this video super helpful. And if you did, please leave a heart in the comments down below and let me know what your favorite tip was. Also, be sure to hit the like button. And if you're not already, hit the subscribe. All right, you guys, I'll see you here next week.